We've been talking a lot about properties of matter over the past week, and we've said that properties are just characteristics that matter has. There's lots of different physical and chemical properties. And you guys are doing some demonstrations, showing some of your presentations of different properties of different materials. But today, I wanted to do a little demonstration for you using these three balloons. And we're going to look at the properties of what's in the balloon. And it's easy to look at the balloon and say, well, there's nothing in it, but there's actually air in it, gas in it. We said that matter can exist in solids, liquids, or gases. And I've got in the yellow balloon and the orange balloon, I've got two different types of gas. In the third balloon, I have a gas, but I've also got a little bit of solid material in there, just a little bit. And you'll see what that does in a little bit. So the idea is when we think of balloons that you might get at a fair, or carnival, something like that, those balloons contain a gas called helium, and that's what's in the yellow balloon here. And the second balloon has a different gas. It has a gas called hydrogen. And both of these gases have the property of being less dense than the air in the room. And both of these balloons, the hydrogen balloon here and the helium balloon, if I pull down on them, they'll float right back up. So there's a reason when we give a kid a balloon at a party, at a, at a fair or something, there's a reason we give them a helium balloon and not a hydrogen balloon, and that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at one important property that one of these has and one of these doesn't. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to get me a stick here and light this. And I'm just going to use the flame to pop the first balloon, the balloon that has the helium in it. And let's just watch what happens. So I'm going to hold the flame there. It's going to pop the balloon. And the balloon popped, just like if you poked it with a pin or something, except we used a fire to burn through, melt through the rubber. Nothing else happened. There wasn't an explosion. There wasn't a big burst of flame or anything like that. And the reason for that is because helium is not a combustible gas. It doesn't burn. Some gases do. And we're going to look at hydrogen here. And let's look at that property of combustion with hydrogen. I'm going to do the same thing, hold the flame next to the hydrogen, and see if you can notice maybe a little bit of a difference in what happens. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to hold the flame right here next to the balloon. Ready in three, two, one. So that was a little bit of a different result. We did the same thing. The balloons looked the same except for their color, but the result was very different. And that's because hydrogen burns. It's combustible. And when I hold that fire there, it burns through, melts through the rubber, and then it ignites that hydrogen gas in there. Now, the red balloon also has hydrogen. That's the gas that's in it, but it's got a little bit of a solid material called magnesium. And let's see if we can distinguish between the properties of the hydrogen when it's ignited versus the properties of the magnesium. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to light the balloon. Let's watch what happens. Ready in three. Two, one. So again, similar material, different result. That time it exploded, we saw the, the burst of flame, but you also saw all those little sparkles that came out. And that was the magnesium as it was combusting, as it was burning. It was burning in those just very bright, very small, hot particles. So again, a neat example of just that idea of combustion, one material that doesn't combust, a gas that does combust, and then a gas mixed with a solid, both of which are able to be burned when I hold the fire under them. So that's something for you to think about as we continue to talk about physical and chemical properties of matter. We'll look at some more examples over the next few days.